Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn together some fascinating facts about our Princess of Wales. Top 20 Catherine's Best Outfits, Princess of Wales, Over the Years Number 1. January A red trouser suit from Alexander McQueen at the launch of the Shaping Us campaign. The Princess of Wales chose a vibrant red suit from her favourite brand, Alexander McQueen, for her first major speech, addressing a crucial aspect of her work. The speech was part of an event at the BFTA headquarters, serving as the pre-launch of the Shaping Us campaign, Kate's flagship initiative. The princess wore a tailored jacket with pointed lapels and an asymmetrical front, paired with flared trousers featuring plates. Completing the look was a matching clutch from Miu Miu and red suede shoes from Gianveta Rossi. The princess adorned large earrings made of walnut wood and acrylic in a Florentine style by chalk. Number 2. February. A white dress from Alexander McQueen at the BFDA awards ceremony. For the second time, Catherine wore a white dress from Alexander McQueen to the BFDA awards ceremony. However, thanks to new details, it took on a completely different look. The Grecian-style dress was first showcased at the 2019 BFDA Awards Ceremony. For the 2023 ceremony, the dress underwent slight modifications, replacing the floral petals on the left shoulder with cascading fabric. The princess transformed the ensemble with long black gloves from Cornelia James, adding drama and expressiveness. Her hair was left down, and she wore large earrings resembling a cascading cascade of flowers from Zara. For this evening, the princess chose gold Aquatura Phoenix shoes and a black clutch from Jimmy Choo. Number 3. March A turquoise coat from Catherine Walker at the Street Patrick's Day Parade. The Princess of Wales selected a coat from her second favourite designer, Catherine Walker, for the Irish Guards Parade on Street Patrick's Day. Attending the parade as the Colonel of the Regiment for the first time, she wore a vivid turquoise coat with raised seams, a stand-up collar, and flared sleeves. Buttons on the bodice and sleeves echoed the guard's uniform. Apparently, the princess's coat was custom-made, along with a hat from Jane Taylor and Gianvito Rossi's shoes. A shamrock-shaped brooch, symbolizing Ireland, was attached to the left side of the coat. Number 4. May a pink trouser suit from Alexander McQueen at the London Foundling Museum event. This year saw an abundance of trouser suits, and the Princess of Wales made public appearances in them. In May, she arrived at the Foundling Museum event in London wearing a pink suit from Alexander McQueen, previously worn in 2022. The suit, comprising a single-breasted fitted jacket with pointed lapels and cropped trousers, was paired with a silk blouse in a matching shade. The ensemble was completed with a belt featuring a large pearl buckle from the British brand Camilla Elphick. As usual, Catherine opted for classic high-heeled pumps from Gianvito Rossi. Number 5. Ivory dress from Alexander McQueen at the coronation of King Charles Aihai and Queen Camilla. At the most grandiose event in the British royal family's life this year, the Princess of Wales appeared, quite predictably, in a dress from her favourite designer, Alexander McQueen. The ivory silk crepe dress adorned with embroidery featuring motifs of roses, thistles, daffodils, and shamrocks was custom-made. However, we could only see the full dress in an official portrait taken after the coronation because during the ceremony, the Royal Victorian Order mantle covered the dress. This raised the question, is the dress equipped with a detachable collar, or are these two different dresses? As King Charles Aihai decided to forgo the Tyra dress code during his coronation, Catherine appeared in something truly original, not a Tyra or a hat, but an exquisite wreath made of silver and crystals by Jess Collette and Alexander McQueen. A similar, albeit more modest, wreath was worn by Princess Charlotte. Number 6. Powder blue ensemble at the garden party at Buckingham Palace. At the first garden party at Buckingham Palace after the coronation, 
the Prince and Princess of Wales played hosts while the King and Queen took a break. Catherine wore a set consisting of a blouse and skirt from Elie Saab, which she had previously worn at Ascot in 2019. The ensemble featured a modified version of the designer blouse with a bow and a tall skirt embroidered with polka dots. The modified blouse included a switch to long sleeves and added cuffs. The princess completed the look with a hat from Philip Treacy, a clutch made of leather and metal from Elie Saab, Jan Vita Rossi metallic silver shoes, and earrings with blue tapezes from Kiki McDonough. Number 7. A yellow jacket at an event dedicated to Mental Health Awareness Week. In mid-May, the Princess of Wales visited the Kelly Holmes Foundation in Bath, which organises meetings between world-class athletes and children and teenagers. While Catherine is known for striding across the polo field in high heels and throwing a ball in a tight jacket, this time she dressed appropriately, cropped trousers, a ribbed top and white sneakers. The highlight of the outfit was a bright jacket from L.K. Bennett, truly brightening up the ensemble. Number 8. June. A pink dress from Elie Saab at the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein of Jordan and Rabo Al Saif. As this is a purely subjective article, I chose the first of the two dresses Catherine wore to the Jordanian wedding, the one she wore during the day. Because the second one seemed too shiny for me, especially with all the required order attributes and a tyra, it was a bit too much. But the daytime one, pure tenderness and elegance. This Ili Saab dress in dusty pink with a high collar, voluminous sleeves and a multi-layered skirt. The bodice, collar and sleeves are adorned with exquisite floral motifs. The princess wore striking earrings with a large stone, complementing the look with Prada shoes with wavy straps and a gold clutch from the British brand Wilbur and Gussie. Number 9. A red dress from Alexander McQueen at Royal Ascot. On the fourth day of the Royal Ascot races, the Princess of Wales appeared in a crimson dress from Alexander McQueen with a V-neck, rat bodice, voluminous sleeves, a defined waist, and a flared trapeze skirt. Fashion experts noted that previously, the princess attended Ascot in dresses of light and pastel shades, and this year's red symbolized her transition to a new high status. The ensemble was complemented by a matching hat from Philip Treacy, suede shoes from Jennifer Chimandi, and a vintage Herms Rio clutch in red leather. Large chandelier earrings from Cezanne garnered mixed reactions. Many considered them excessive and ostentatious. Number 10. A polka dot dress from Alessandra Rich at the Most Noble Order of the Garter Service. For the traditional order of the Garter Service at Street George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, the Princess of Wales chose a delicate white midi dress with black polka dots from Alessandra Rich. The dress is made of 100% silk and has several interesting details. A high collar, voluminous sleeves, and draping at the waist. Especially for this dress, Philip Treacy made a grey hat with flowers made of white fabric in black polka dots. For this outing, the princess chose shoes from Jennifer Chimandi with a black patent toe and an open heel. Catherine completed the look with accessories that previously belonged to her mother-in-law, Princess Diana, pearl earrings and a three-strand pearl bracelet. Number 11. A blue dress at the Royal Polo Charity Cup. In early July, the Princess of Wales came to support her husband, who participated in the charity polo match Outsourcing Inc. in Windsor. She wore the Beulah London Sonia dress made of 100% silk crepe de chine with a stand-up collar, a fitted pleated bodice, voluminous sleeves with elastic cuffs, and a long skirt with a petticoat. The white and blue print of the dress is something very delicate, summery, and slightly ethnic. The princess introduced a new pair of shoes from Camilla Elphick with a pointed toe made of patent leather, a three-inch heel, and the brand's signature crystal buckle. The mulberry bag we had already seen last year in Boston completed the look. The ensemble was complemented by Lanique Louis' ring earrings and a Cezanne bracelet. Number 12. A mint jacket 
and a white pleated skirt at Wimbledon. The Princess of Wales chose a mint and white ensemble for the second day of the 2023 Wimbledon Championship. Catherine paired a fitted double-breasted jacket in a delicate mint color with white lapels with a pleated white midi skirt and white Gianvito Rossi court shoes. The look was completed with a seam bracelet and pearl earrings from Shyla. Number 13. A Catherine Walker blue coat dress at the National Thanksgiving Service in Scotland. In fact, the Princess of Wales first wore this coat dress in 2023 for the Easter service in Windsor, but I found the overall look more appealing during the ceremony in Scotland. On this day, Scotland welcomed Charles III as the crowned king for the first time. The service took place at Street Dials Cathedral at the beginning of Holyrood Week. The king, queen, and prince of Wales wore the mantles of the Thistle Order, while the princess of Wales donned an elegant single-breasted coat dress made of royal blue wool crepe with slightly darker lapels. Her hat was predictably designed by Philip Treacy and precisely matched the coat's color. The princess wore cobalt blue shoes from Emmy London and in her hand was her customary clutch from Enya Hindmarch with a sculpted top. For accessories, Kate chose Queen Elizabeth's pearl necklace and Princess Diana's pearl drop earrings. Number 14. October. A monochromatic knit set with a skirt from Cezanne at an event at Nottingham Trent University. It was one of the events dedicated to World Mental Health Day and the Princess of Wales, who had already been leaning towards trouser suits, appeared in an incredibly elegant and feminine set from Cezanne. Kate paired a beige merino wool and cotton knit sweater with a matching midi-length skirt. The same tones were reflected in the tusting bag and suede Gianvito Rossi shoes. The look was completed with delicate pearl earrings. Number 15. November. A Burberry quilted jacket at an event supporting rural communities in Scotland. This is the most controversial point because I categorically dislike the bottom part of this ensemble. Don't look there. However, the quilted jacket from Burberry is just beautiful. I couldn't just ignore it. Kate wore it to an event with organizations supporting rural communities in Scotland. The first stop for the Wallaces was at a local primary school where they were greeted by students and Kate enjoyed herself thoroughly. Number 16. A lilac trouser suit from Amelia Wickstead at the Shaping Us National Symposium in London. The Princess of Wales chose a trouser suit from Amelia Wickstead for the Shaping Us National Symposium in London. It was an extremely important event for Kate, where she needed to look bright, elegant, and businesslike. Especially for Princess of Wales, Amelia Wickstead created a custom colored double breasted Dida wool jacket with pointed lapels and tapered gust trousers. As accessories, Kate chose navy suede John Vito Rossi court shoes and sapphire cabocan earrings that passed down to her from Princess Diana. Number 17. A white Jenny Packham dress at a state banquet in honor of the visit of President Yoon Suk Yeol of the Republic of Korea. At a state banquet in honor of the visit of the President of the Republic of Korea, the Princess of Wales wore a custom-made dress from the Jenny Packham Spring slash Summer 24 Cruise Collection. The full-length dress has a narrow silhouette, a fitted bodice with a voluminous skirt, structured shoulders, and wide cape effect sleeves adorned with silver embroidery. But the most striking detail of the ensemble in every sense was the Stratmore Rose Tyra, belonging to the Queen Mother and not seen in public for almost a hundred years until this moment. Number 18. A Safia blue dress at the Royal Variety Performance in the Royal Albert Hall. The Princess of Wales chose a dress from Safia for the annual Royal Variety Performance at the Royal Albert Hall, attended by the Wallaces along with Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden and her husband Prince Daniel. It was a striking dress with sharply structured shoulders, floor-length sleeves adorned with crystals, and a crystal-embellished neckline. The look was complemented by a clutch from Jenny Packham, pearl earrings, and a wide bracelet with large stones. Number 19. 
December. A white ensemble at the filming of Royal Carols, together at Christmas at Westminster Abbey. On the evening of December 8, the Princess of Wales arrived at Westminster Abbey to participate in the traditional filming of the Christmas service Royal Carols, together at Christmas. Coat or trouser suit? Everyone wondered. Both, replied Kate. She wore flared white trousers, a white round neck sweater, and a long white coat. It was custom made by Chris Kerr, a tailor from Savile Row who primarily serves male clients. The princess carried a small white Strathbury bag in her hand. The look was complemented by Van Pleef earrings, made of 18 karat gold and mother of pearl. Number 20. A blue ensemble at the Christmas service in Sandringham. On Christmas 2023, the king and queen gathered the entire extended family at Sandringham. The Princess of Wales chose ensemble in various shades of blue for the Christmas service. Kate's elongated coat was tailored by Alexander McQueen and had a classic cut. The princess complemented it with a hat featuring sharp feathers from Juliet Botterill and custom-made suede boots from Gianvito Rossi. She wore cabocon earrings with diamonds and sapphires that previously belonged to Diana, Princess of Wales. Completing the look was the ever-present clutch, this time from Emmy London.